It's hard to believe, but there was once a time that gamers couldn't beg for more playing time. Just 15 more minutes, mom! But almost 80 years after the first computer game prototype arrived, there's no denying this awesome and occasionally addictive pastime offers more complex worlds to explore than ever before. Join us to discover how video games conquered the universe on this episode of Half Price Books, All Things Printed and Recorded. The very first video game prototype appeared way back in 1940, when Edward U. Condon designed a computer that played the traditional game NIM for the Westinghouse display at the World's Fair. Tens of thousands of people took a turn, and it may surprise you to learn that early computer beat at least 90% of them. In 1958, inventor Willie Higginbottom created a tennis game on an oscilloscope and analog computer. Although it was largely forgotten, it was the precursor to the thrilling game Pong. Remember this, we'll get back to it in a minute. In 1962, MIT student Steve Russell gave us the first official computer-based video game, Space War. It became a precursor for Total War, Warcraft, Dawn of War, and a whole lot of other games with war in the title. The next year, just months after the Cuban Missile Crisis, the Defense Department completed another war game known as Simulation of Total Atomic Global Exchange, or STAGE, which showed us how the U.S. would defeat the Soviet Union in a thermonuclear battle. If this sounds familiar, it's because it's the plot of the 1983 Matthew Broderick movie, War Games. In 1966, inventor Ralph Baer developed his brown box video game prototype, which allowed users to play tennis and other games on a TV set. In 1971, Magnavox officially released Odyssey, the first home video game system which was based on Bear's design. That same year we got Oregon Trail, a simulation of the Pioneer's trek across the U.S. Oh. Designed by three Minnesota college students, it took as long to play as it did to actually caravan to California. In 1972, Pong was born. In case you're too young to remember, it featured a game of ping pong played with two electronic paddles and a ball that went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Anyway, this simple game soon became an arcade legend, and Atari partnered with Sears to release a home version. Pong was so successful, it was pretty obvious consumers were ready for a video game library. So the Atari 2600 was introduced in 1977, featuring a joystick, color games, and multiple levels to conquer. It made millions of Americans into gamers seemingly overnight. By 1980, Space Invaders had vanquished home consoles, and Pac-Man took a bite out of the industry. In 1981, fans went ape over Nintendo's Donkey Kong, which originally starred the cleverly named Jumpman, better known to history books as Mario. In the mid-80s, video game fever had cooled somewhat until the Nintendo Entertainment System, NES, came on the scene. At the end of the decade, it was all about gaming on the go and the Nintendo Game Boy became everyone's road trip accessory of choice. Sony's PlayStation took over the industry in 1995. Then Microsoft dominated the market with Xbox and the hit game Halo in 2001. Since then, the console wars have been fast and furious, with fans taking sides in the battle between the Xbox 360 versus the PS3, the Xbox One versus the PS4, the Xbox One X versus the PS4 Pro, the Nintendo Switch versus the Xbox One 10. <sighs> Whatever system you prefer, it's clear that home video games will always be a winner in the world of entertainment. This has been Half Price Books, all things printed and recorded. If you'd like to learn more about the history of the video game, check out our blog at blog.hpb.com. Until next time!